Jessica and it's been a while since I've posted. Um, 2018 was very busy for me but I um, watched Beauty News video on their teen Project No Pants. Project No Pants. Project Pan. And I decided that I'm going to also participate because I have quite a few products like duplicate pot products like multiple highlighters multiple blushes things like that and I do want to you know use up some things um, I have declutter some things to my siblings already and so um, these are things that I've left behind that I know that I have still Hi, boo. and so we're gonna go through it I've got my phone with the list and I've got everything in this box right here I've got a cat right here, and we're just going to start from the top, please don't knock that down, um, the top of the list. So the first category was primer. I believe they're not have three that I'm going to try and pan. Um, one of them is a mini size, so it's not that much product. Oh no, get down. Thank you. So primers. So. This first primer is not, I got this in a boxy charm. It is the Pores No More, um, the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Um, this is not something that I would have purchased for myself. I have oily skin, and so using a luminizer as a primer is not something that I am interested in. Um, I did um, use this on my face for like all over my face a couple of days ago. Um, like and like it just really did emphasize like my pores in here and so I have started to just use it on the perimeter of my face and I will also be using it on um this is just like an everyday primer that I'll be using or when I'm not even wearing any makeup I will use this to try and use some of it up um I don't hate it I don't love it it's just something that I have and want to use up my next one is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. I actually really like this primer, um, and so it's I've got quite a bit of it. I just need to put a dent in it. I don't necessarily need to pan it, but I do want to put give it some love and put a dent in it. Um, I do use this whenever I do my makeup, um, and so I do like it. And normally, I would use this on the perimeter of my face and then use a different primer for um, my oily t-zone area but um, I've been using when I do when I go to work um, the way that I use this is I'll use this around the perimeter and then use a, like the tiniest like rice grain size in like my t-zone area and it's been working okay um, the other one that I wanted to use up is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector it is uh, 12 milliliters, or it was. I have about that much left. And um, I started to buy the full size, but you only need like a pea size amount of this product and like to like press it into the skin. And so, um, luck and good sense, <laughs> I actually used my brain and just purchased a mini size of it. And so, once it's gone, I may or may not repurchase it. I do like it. I just don't know. I'm not decided yet. And so the next one is foundation. I am going to be using my Dior Air Flash foundation. Um, this has a dewy, radiant type of finish to it. I typically go towards lean more towards matte um, or even a satin finish. Um, mostly matte because I have oily skin. I do like this primer. It's super expensive. I don't know if I would purchase it again, but it is a beautiful foundation. Um, it's, this is my winter foundation, so it is a winter time. So I'll be using this up. Um, yeah, I like this foundation. I performed this foundation. It held up pretty well as long as like, you know, you blot. When you're sweating, you blot and you don't just wipe that. I guess that's with any foundation. But yeah, I'll be using this as my foundation. And then the next category is concealer. I have two, one of which I literally just purchased today. Um, so, but let's backtrack a bit. So for concealer, I was going to start with the um, 
the NARS can be radiant. But then I looked through my Sephora purchase history and I realized that I purchased this in July 2017. Or was it July 2017? Anyway, I've had this primer for, I've had this concealer for two years. So I am going to throw it away. It, um, it's no longer smells that pleasant. So, um, yeah, when I, now when I look back at my purchase history on Sephora.com, I realize I've had this for quite a while. So I, like, two years or going on two years, I've had it for too long. So I'm going to actually trash that and then um, move on to my Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer. like this concealer. Pretty good. Um, I have, really have no complaints with it. So I'll be, but I, I have it. It's, and I have a lot of it so I need to use it up oh no please here there you can have it mm. okay and then so the other one that I'll be using is um like I said I just got this one today um the Fenty concealers just dropped today and um I haven't wanted to try the concealer by cover effects um, I just, I had literally just purchased the Born This Way when it came out and I was like, you don't need to do that. That's much too much. No one needs that much concealer. Um, and so, but I've had this for a little while and I wanted to introduce something new and I will be using this in, like I'll probably be using these two together just because this is more of a summer concealer shade for me um and the one that was going to be more like my winter one I knew that in the summertime I wouldn't use it because it would be too dark so it was like you I, so I decided to just get the um the shade 350 and like just mix because this is like a hair darker than this one just mix them together um if if I needed to I haven't worn it yet so I don't know but if like I do decide like oh this is a bit too light um, for my winter, for my winter shade, um, I can just mix in a little bit of this and things will be okay. The next one was powder. I have so many powders. Um, I actually just bought one also today. I bought the shade Hazelnut from Fenty. Um, but these are the ones that I'm going to try to use up. Two of them are, um, the smaller sizes. And so this one is translucent. By Kat Von D. Nothing's wrong with it. I just need to get rid of it. Um, and I will not be, be repurchasing for, I think, obvious reasons. Um, yeah, one of which is I just have too many powders. I don't need to be purchasing anymore, even though I purchased one more today. Um, and the other one is, sorry, let me talk about the second one from Kat Von D. This is her Locket Brightening Powder in Golden. Um, it's pretty yellow. Like, it's, it's like banana powder, only she calls it Golden. The flashback on this is ridiculous. I honestly am not the biggest fan of this powder, but I have it and I want to use it. Um, this is a powder that I can only use if I know that there's not going to be any flash. So I would never wear this for a performance, but I would wear it like, I'm. No, I'm not wearing it today, but I would wear it for, um, like just every day to work, um, with one of the eye creams I'm going to show you, but we're not at that, um, stage in the list just yet. But yeah, um, so, and I also have been mixing it with this and this third powder that I want to use up, which is Laura Mercier's Medium Deep, um, translucent powder. This is honestly too dark for me. Summer and wintertime is just... Summertime I can get by with it a little bit more, but in the wintertime it's definitely too dark for me. So, um, it's a nice powder. I do enjoy it. It's just too dark for me. And so I mixed, I mixed these two together to, um, make it a shade that, um, is more wearable for me. And I also have been, like, putting, like, a little bit of the brightening one in here as well, just because I'm trying to use this up. Um, it's not, like... I just started doing that yesterday because I was like, hmm, what's another way that I can start to use this powder? And I was like, oh, mixing in with these two as well. Um, 
and I am wearing that today. Um, this is actually these. This is these three. These powders, the three of them, are what I'm actually wearing on my face today. Um, I'm not wearing a foundation or a traditional concealer today, but I am wearing these three just to give me a little bit of coverage and, and get rid of the shine. At least it was this morning. I haven't touched up or anything like that. Once I get rid of the Kat Von D, because I'm about halfway through this one, so it shouldn't take me much longer to get rid of this, I'm going to move on to the Derma Blend. And it's just their translucent powder, and I'm sh this had a lot of, sorry, this had a lot of um, flash, flashback as well. So, um, which is nice about the Laura Mercier because it kind of like covers that up. But these are the powders that I want to get rid of. Oops, I forgot one. This is for powder. <laughs> this is going back to powders. This is a um, the Sephora Micro Smooth powder. Um, I've had this forever and I've not made a dent in it. I use it every time I wear my, I use it every time I do my makeup. Every time. Even if I'm literally just wearing um, translucent powders on my face as like my base, I use this like to like smooth everything out. It is not going anywhere. I do not see the end of this product. I don't know how people, I know I think Alyssa Ashley has gone through multiple of these. I don't, so the next one is setting spray. I have two setting sprays that I want to get rid of. Uh, the first one is Lock It by Kat Von D. Um, this is, I would consider this more of a refresher or than a setting spray, um, but like I don't have much of this left. And then the other one is Morphe's Continuous Setting Mist. Um, I hate the fragrance on this. It's not that great of a setting spray. It's okay. Um, neither one of these are anything to write home about. I will not repurchase them once they're gone. Contour, browns, bronzer. I honestly, I own a, um, I don't have a contour that I want to pan. I honest, I'm actually missing my Fenty Matchstick. I don't know what happened to it. That's the one that I actually use and like for contour. And you don't need a lot of it. So I have like a, sh a brown shadow that I'm using when I do choose the contour. I'm not in any hurry to get rid of either one of those. Um, my bronzer that I want to not necessarily use up or put a dent in is the Anastasia one. Um, I'll definitely be using this for the winter time. I own two bronzers, Mally Nights by Becca, and then this is in the shade Cappuccino by Anastasia. And so I want to, no, boo. So the, this is the one I'll use in the winter. I'll probably switch over to using Mally Nights in the summertime. Is there a reason why you're biting me? Okay. I'll probably use a Mally Nuts in the summertime because that is very red. It would make me, I would look like a joke in the wintertime. But um, again, I really, I really like this bronzing powder. It looks really pretty, really natural. Um, so I don't necessarily want to get rid of it. I do just want to put a dent in it. So I will be using this regularly like I normally do. And then, let's check the time. Uh, for blush, I have the um, Sephora blush palette, and the blush that I'm choosing is this middle one right here. It's um, it's just a matte um, blush, really pretty shade. Um, after I make a bit of a dent in it, not necessarily pan it, I'll probably declutter this to one of my sisters just because it's got. I don't necessarily need it. It's not my favorite. Um, palette, but I do. I'm not just. I'm not ready just yet to let go of the bl bl uh, blush, and I do want to use it. So, um, I'll be using this middle blush right here, and then highlighter. So, I have the Ars Couture in Conceited. It's a really pretty shade. Bronze to it. It's a really pretty highlighter. It's probably a touch too dark for me. The perfect shade for me from Ars Couture is La Peach. That's a beautiful highlighter, but it was limited edition and I do not want to pan that. So I chose Conceited because I have four full size ones, including La Peach and Conceited. And, and I also have like a mini size one as well. So I need to use one of these up. But that probably won't happen this year because this has quite a bit of product in it. Eye primer cream product. So for the eye, the eyes have it. Uh, Smashbox 24 hour um, photo finish. 
I really like this primer. Um, this I got in one of their, um, I think, I think it's like one of their Try It sets. It came with a setting spray. It came with the primer water. This, um, one of their little mini like photo finish primers. I think it came with something else. Um, but this I want to use. I do want to use this up. So I can move on to other things, but I would repurchase this. I like it a lot. I almost repurchased it during the um, Sephora Rouge sale, but I cautioned. I made myself stop and slow down and say, you got to use this up first before you buy another one. And then the um, eye cream that I want to use is the Tatcha um, The Pearl. This is in the shade Candlelight, I believe. Yes. And so... Um, this is kind of what it looks like. It's quite a bit of product and I don't see, this is one of those products where it's like, when will it ever end? Um, which is both a good and a bad thing because your money goes a long way, but like, it's like you can't see like the end. It's like, then we'll never come with this product. In the winter time, it is actually the shade of my, it's my skin tone. In the summertime, it does give me a bit of brightening. Um, a bit of under eye brightening so that's where I use the the golden powder by Kat Von D for the winter time under my eyes so it this actually is causing the brightness and not so much this but it's nice and creamy it's a good product it's just they could they could sell this in half the size and you would still like get at least six months this is going to last me forever but I do want to make a good good dent in this I don't know if I'll be, I'll be able to paint it in a year, but I will be using it all the time. For the next category is eyeshadow palette. I don't necessarily want to pan any of my eyeshadows. I just want to use them more. Um, I have quite a bit of eyeshadow palettes to use. So what I decided to do is to focus on maybe like one to three, depending on the size of the palette. And focus on that for the month depending on the size of the palette and like what colors are in the palette could I feasibly make like a under more understated work look kind of like something that I'm wearing today or and like be okay with that or like can I also or is this more of like a fun like we're going out or you're gonna go hit the stage and you know eyeshadow palette so that's kind of why I gave myself a lee leeway of using more than one and for the month of January I have chosen three palettes. Um, I chose the Natasha Nona um, Aries palette. Aries palette. Um, eyeshadow 5. This was holiday 2017. I got this in November 2017 and I literally just started using it January 2019. That's how many eyeshadows I had. That's how much. Um, I think I used it once when I first got it and then I moved on to something else because I bought multiple eyeshadow palettes like around that time. Um, I can't open it because one, two, and three are broken. All three of them arrived broken, um, but they're not shattered, so I didn't. I was just like, it's fine. Um, this nude, this shade right here, is my favorite. Once I get rid of it, I will probably purchase Natasha Nona's Cranberry palette because nude is in it. I actually was a little bit annoyed at first when she put nude in it because I wanted to buy the Cranberry palette, but. Um, it had the shade duplicated and I didn't want to buy it because it's that would only be there will be four new shades for the 48 bucks and so which is already five shades for 40 dollars is already expensive but four for 48 dollars is ridiculous um so it's really pretty new. it's such a, it's just it's beautiful it's it's gorgeous it's a shade that I'm gonna be wearing all over my lid today um, yeah, it's definitely to me the star of this palette. You would think, I, I purchased it for the blue, but nude is the one I reach for all the time. Um, now that I'm using it. But yeah, so this is one of the palettes. The second one is the Joyous, Joya, the Joya palette, um, from Natasha Nona. Again, holiday 2017, but I purchased it in, I think, March 2018. Uh, I think I got, I'm pretty sure I got 15% off at Sephora when I purchased it because it was, and it was about to go, um, out of stock because they were getting rid of it. But this one I can open. So it's really pretty. I don't really care for this shade, but these four are really pretty. 
Um, they're all nice, highly, it's a very, it's a good shadow. I just don't care for the, sh the color of it or the, more so the texture of it. Um, but, um, yeah, Star Bronze right here is probably my favorite in this palette. It's a really good palette. I wore it yesterday. Many compliments. And then the other one, third palette that I'm using, again, this one I can't open as well because most, I think through these three, these four pop out. This one's broken. This one might also pop out. It's, I've dropped it so many times. Um, but the Busy Heart Dark Matte Palette, try and do a little. So that's what this palette looks like. Um, I use these two. I've been using these two for the most part. I've not really touched anything else. I've just been using these two brown shades, but um, to to supplement these two Natasha Nona shades because um, as pretty as burnt, I think burnt terracotta, burnt terracotta, it's, it's super, it's so warm and it's so cold outside. But I don't want like a over the top warm eye. If that makes any sense. And uh, the next category is liquid gel eyeliner. I only own one gel eyeliner and I'm not in any rush to get rid of it. I honestly just got it this year. I'm sorry, in 2018. So I'm not in any rush to like use it up. It's got a 24 hour, 24 month life shelf life. So I'm good on that. The gel, not gel, here we go. The liquid one that I'm trying to use up, and this is the only liquid eyeliner that I have, is Clinique's Pretty Easy Liquid um, Eyeliner Pen. I got this in the Sephora Play Box. Um, so, yeah, I'll just use this up. And it is, I'm pretty sure it is a sample size, not a full size, because it says not for sale on the back, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure this, it, it doesn't have a size on it. But yeah, I don't think this is a full size. But that's my liquid eyeliner. Um, for eye pencil, I have two. Um, I have the hourglass ones, the one in what's your name? Obsidian is black, and then Canyon is brown. I have definitely been reaching for Canyon a lot. Um, I normally use it to underline, to to line my waterline. Um, I've been reaching for, I've been reaching lately for brown eyeliners more than black eyeliners, but like, so I want to use these two up. Mascara. Uh, I have two again. I try to, to make sure I don't open more than one to two mascaras at a time just because their shelf life is six months. So um, this one is Hourglasses Caution Mascara. I got this as a deluxe sample size from make 20, purchasing $25 for something at Sephora, I used the code. And then the other one is Milk Makes Up Cush Mascara. I, will, I like them both. Neither one of them caused me any issues with flaking or anything like that. Um, yeah, they're good mascaras. Would definitely repurchase. But I have a plethora of sample size mascaras that I need to get through before purchasing any more mascaras. So, I do want to use these up or after six months or probably maybe more like three. I'll probably toss those. Brow color is the next one. Um, I'm going to do brow color and brow setting as one because they're both, they're all brows. Where are you at? So I've got three brow products. Um, the first one is um, Benefits Goof Proof Mascara. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's just um, more of a filler um, to like fill in and now you can't really get like a sharp defined line which is not necessarily a bad thing because I don't really like trying to get sharp defined lines with my brows. Um, I try to make my brows look as natural pos as possible but um, that's about how much product I have left to get rid of. Not too much. Oh, oh good it's going back down. But yeah I do want to get rid of this. Um, I'm over it. And then the other one, I'm not going to like push this one up because it won't go back down. It is Max, um, their, I, it's called Eyebrows. Anyway, it's in the shade Spiked. I'm going to start using this. Um, yeah, so I'll use that up. And then for the brow setting, I use Milk Makeup's Kush 
um, and it is in the shade Grind. So I like this as well, very pigmented, almost a little bit too pigmented. You have to be very careful with the Oreo, like have like a brown, like brown to black splotch in your eyebrow, but it is a good product. And then the next category is lip liner. Um, I'm going to say NYX brown um, lip liner pencil. I, want to eat, I do want to use this up um, and then if I decide that I don't like it I'll give it to one of my sisters or I'll throw it away it was like three bucks I'm sure uh, do, 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 do. I don't have a lipstick or a liquid liner liquid lipstick that I want to use up I, I, I can't choose like I have so many different colors and like my mood changes too much for me to pick just one color and lip and a lip product to like try and get rid of um and but for lip gloss um i've chosen two they're both um abh anastasia Bel anastasia Bel beverly hills one is in sepia and the other is in warm brown so but i am for i'm going to try and like start using these up which is going to be a feat if these are not done by 2019 i'm throwing them away The next one is lip balm. I'm going to use the Sugar Advanced Therapy one. Nothing wrong with it. It's really good. I just also have the Laneige lip. I want to get rid of this so I can start really focusing on the Laneige lip mask because that has a lot of product in it. Um, so yeah, good product. Would purchase again, but want to get rid of it, which won't be bad because I always just use it in the morning. Um, the next um, I don't have a nail polish or fragrance that I want to use up because I don't wear either one of those. So, um, moving on from that. Body product. I don't have a body product. I don't have like a... T okay, you know what? Actually, I'll consider this to be a body product. Um, my Norganics um, African Black Soap Exfoliate for the Body. It's a really nice soap. It is... Uh, smells beautiful. It smells heavenly. smells like roses. Uh, it's... It's really good. It's just an African black soap with a hint of rose. Well, more than a hint. Um, with rose to it. It actually came with like rose petals sitting on top of it and like a little container that you could like wet and then put into it. Um, those are already gone. Um, because I also um and so but moving so yeah, this is for body and this is also for face. I also use this as my um my main cleanser and so um the next um the next category was skincare products, so I'm going to just roll right into that from body. Um, I really like this a lot. I do want to use this up because there are other brands that I want to try out for African Black Soap. And because I have another one of their like full size one, their Amethyst Black Soap. Um, it's African Black Soap. I'm not sure why they call it Amethyst. Um, but it is Lavender and Mulberry. I want to move. I want. I want to finish this so I can move on to this, so I can try like other brands and see like which one is my holy grail. Oh, oops. Oh, what are you doing? Are oh, you gonna sit in the box? Okay. Let me move it so not to go over and then I cry. Okay. So, but back to skincare products. I also have um, the Pyeong Kang Yo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Essence Toner. This is currently the only essence that I own. I use it as essence. It's the only essence that I own. Um, I want to use this up so I can try another one. Um, I want to try, I think Peach and Lily have an essence. I think it's their Wild Dew. I want to try that. Um, so I want to use this up so I can try another essence. Hi! And smooth, still in skincare, I've got two serums that I'm trying to use up. I actually have owned three serums. Um, so actually, I guess I should have grabbed that one as well. It's fine. Um, the, Drunken the Drunken Elephant um, B Hydra Hydrating Serum. I use that in the morning um, along with this. The Pyeong Kang Yo Moisture Serum. Um, I use about three to four drops of this in the morning. And in the evening it's a really good product I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging um, because like when you stick the um, the pipette back into it like sometimes product can just go 
and sometimes it's hard to get product into it but yeah but it, the product itself is amazing and then I use the glass skin peach and lily glass skin refining serum in the evening along with the moisture serum from Pyong Kang Yo that is a serum right yes that is a serum um it's good I don't know if I will repurchase this I like it it's just that this and the the drunk elephant one are very similar um, I believe this is $39, but the Drunk Elephant one is $52, but I normally brought the, buy the Drunken Elephant one on sale. So, like, they're, like, it's still more expensive than this, but only by, like, a couple of dollars. So, we shall see. Or I might not repurchase it anyway and just make this my go-to all the time because it is very moisturizing it's a very good product in the summertime I sometimes just use this as a moisturizer that's how moisturizing it is it's fantastic don't do that please you're gonna knock it over and then for still in skincare I have the Pion King Yo moisture cream oh, oh no Piper you're making a mess babe it's a really pretty, not pretty, it's white. It's, it's so there's like nothing to be pretty about. It's a really great cream. It's nice and thick, nice and moisturizing, but not so thick that it feels like it's gonna clog your pores up, which is a, um, a issue that I had with another, with the Drunken Fit, Drunken Fish in the restaurant, with the Drunken Elephant um, Pro Peony. Pro Teeny. A moisturizer so I ended up exchanging that for the Fenty products the two Fenty products that I just purchased today and then the other moisturizer that I'm trying to make a dent in is the um, peach and lily matcha pudding I do use this it just has like a little um it has like a little like scooper in there that I want to keep with the moisturizer um so I just keep it in the box it is a pretty green pretty mint green not necessarily mint but like avocado green, I will say. It's a pretty avocado green shade. Smells nice, faint, um, nothing too much. Like the Beyond King Yo um, products have no fragrance to them at all. No, give me, give me that. Because you're gonna, no, give me that. Uh, what was the Pian King Yo products have no fragrance to them, so if you have sensitive skin, I think you would like it. Um, these I really don't have any added fragrance to them. Again, sensitive skin, oily skin, dry skin, I think you would like it. This is also a nice, thick, creamy product. However, it's not. It doesn't make. It doesn't feel like it's clogging up your pores. My skin like drinks both of these moisturizers right up. I like them both. Um, I just want to put a dent in them because I have two moisturizers for that. It's a lot for me, or in my opinion, not necessarily for me, but that's just especially because you only need like a dime size, which is kind of a lot. Yeah, you only need like a dime size for both of these, and it spreads really nicely. So yeah, and I think that might be it. Yeah. I don't have anything for hair products, so all of what I mentioned is what I am trying to make a dent in. Um, some of them I actually am trying to paint, some of them I just want to make a dent in them in 2019. Um, so that is it. You may have seen Piper scurrying about. You may hear her knocking things over. Hello. Anyway, so that is it. So um, I will keep you all abreast of my, pro my progress. That's what I wanted to say, my progress. Um, the hashtag is uh, team Project Pan. If you also want to participate with um, the Beauty News community, uh, if you watch Beauty News, I don't know what Cat and um, I literally was just on her. Haley. Haley. I don't know why I blanked on her name. It's Haley. Anyway, um, so I know that you can uh, go to both Cat and Haley's. Let me go back. Um, so um, I will keep you all abreast of my progress. I don't know why I keep messing up with that word. The hashtag if you would also like to participate in a 
um, Project Pan. In the Project Pan is hashtag Team Project Pan. You can find the Google Docs um, hyperlink, that is a word, on both Kat and Haley's um, respective YouTube channels with they made a Team Product Pan for 2019 video. Um, they posted on both of their pages. Um, you can use it on Instagram, YouTube. I don't know if they have a Facebook. Um, Twitter, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, but I know Instagram and YouTube. Probably Twitter as well. But yeah, so that is it. It's going to be a super long video. I do apologize. Um.